Hello, I'm Eric. And I'm Melissa. And today we're going to do our November 2020 monthly pickup video. Okay. Yeah. Normally, November is a huge month for Black Friday. Thanksgiving Eve. Eve. Yeah. Black Friday month. Black Friday month. But uh, this year, I wasn't feeling it. Mm-hmm. In fact, there's hardly anything here from Black Friday. I know. I think there's nothing here from Black Friday. Is well, there? there's, there's one thing, one which thing. is these goofy things which I'm going to talk about okay. at the beginning. So, a couple one of things... Thing. There's one thing from retail. What'd you say? I said one thing. One th well, okay. A couple things from retail, a couple things from eBay, or things from eBay, things from Trey, or mm -hmm. friends. Mm hmm Right? All right, let's just jump right into okay. it. Okay, so the things from Black Friday. They're so goofy. <laughs> are these three styrofoam blocks. Mm. These are for NES boxes. Yep. They're spacers for the cartridges to put in the boxes. Um, you bought those? I bought these. Yeah, I bought these with some other things to get free shipping. Um, and uh, I bought three. I felt so guilty. Uh, I only needed one. They were 90 cents. They were, and they were, they were normally you know a buck what? 50. I thought you bought like a box. No. Like, and this was, this is no. like your, this is, oh, I'll just take a few out of the box so I can show what I got. I determined, literally got I literally three. bought three. I determined that I bought wow. two other items, which will come up later. Um, in another video, not this month. Okay. Um, and I only needed one more physical item, and this ninety cent block, normally a buck fifty, but they had it on sale. This ninety <laughs> cent block was enough to get me to the three items mm -hmm. to get free shipping, which was like six bucks. Wow. So for ninety cents, I got free, and I felt so guilty. I bought three, <laughs> figuring I probably need three. It yeah. turns out I don't even need three. I oh only need two. Anyway, styrofoam spacers. Well, you, you know, you'll wow. have them for any games you purchase. Yeah, I don't buy a lot of boxed yeah. NES games. Okay, and then this thing that everybody has been getting or got in November, the uh, PlayStation VR camera adapter for the PS5. Mm -hmm. Back in the Xbox days, I made a mistake about not getting the Kinect adapter. I'm like, I don't have an Xbox One. I don't need a Kinect adapter. And then I got an upgrade, and I did want it, and so I had to buy it, and they were really hard to get, and our friend uh, Derek from Canada got one for me, and that became a huge mistake. So, I don't have a PS5. Not getting it from Derek wasn't the huge mistake. Not no. Not buying yeah, sorry, it in the first sorry. place. No, Derek helped me out, but then we had to pay for it. It was a well, lot yeah, expensive. So, but not getting I should have gotten it free. Um, so, I decided I was going to get the PSVR camera adapter for the PS5, even though I don't have a PS5 yet. Mm -hmm. So, that arrived. Glad to get that. Okay. The, these next items are a deal I worked out with Single Banana Ooh. from RF Gen. Mm -hmm. um, you may remember back in October, he helped me out with some other things. Well, there was another arrangement we made, and I got some more games from him. Ooh. And so um, he went to a local shop, and they had really cheap games, and I said, put them all in a bag and ship them out to me, and I'll pay you for them. So... I got a couple of these. I'm going to go through the Atari ones first. Uh, I love these text label Atari games. Backgammon. Mm -hmm. Didn't have that one. Text label basketball. I have the picture label. Picture label. Mm -hmm. That's cool. And championship soccer. Also known as Pele's championship soccer. This is just championship soccer. So I was glad to get these. Super cheap. A mm -hmm. uh, couple of... Now these are... M network, but they are the white label, which means they are probably from when the INTV Corp bought out Intellivision properties from Mattel and then re-released things at, under INTV. So this is football. Oh, I did it backwards. Football. Yeah. This says M network on it, but the label is white and black, and it is Air Raiders. And mm -hmm. I didn't have either of these. Uh, that might not be true. I might have had football, but now I have the white label variants. All about okay. the variants. Goofy. All right. And then I've been collecting telegames. These are. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, these okay. are. Okay, telegames. He got me some telegames. So, Berserk, adding to the telegames collection. Football. You and your football. Yeah, it's easy. It's easy enough to I'm get. Kidding. Now, this apparently was a good pickup because this one's a little bit harder to come by. Cool. Slots. Soccer. Is this like gambling slots? Yeah. Soccer. And finally, Super Breakout. Cool. All right. So, yeah, I was glad to get this little bundle from Single Banana. Cool. And then, 
eBay, I think in oh, October, eBay. I had been getting Choplifter. I got Choplifter for the ColecoVision. I might have already had it for the 7800, but I decided I need it for the 5200. Choplifter for the 5200. So now I have 5200, 7800, ColecoVision, and of course Sega Master System. Um, so I added a new 5200 game to the collection. Last month we got a new 5200, added a couple games. So I've definitely been on an Atari kick and a 5200 kick. And then now we're going to move into 7800. Even, even without uh, Expos, you're on an Atari I, kick. I'm totally on an Atari mm -hmm. kick, yeah. I got, I got games for every Atari system I own. These are 7200 games. This is from eBay. What did I say? 78? Yeah, mm -hmm. 78. Why don't you read them off? Okay, the first one is Crossbow. I think this is a light gun game, but you can use the controller. Mm -hmm. Label's a little dinged up. Mm -hmm. I bought this in a big lot of stuff, and then these were the, what, six games I wanted out of them? Uh -huh. I'll flip the rest. All right. Dig Dug? Oh, this I have sealed. Ooh. But Ooh. I've never played it. I have it sealed. I don't feel like opening it, so now i got a loose cartridge I can actually play. Ooh, look at this one. This was the big one. Mario Brothers. Mario Brothers. Mother, I should say Mario Bros. Mario Bros. I have the manual for this, and I this is one like number one on my, well, it's not really number one, mm -hmm. but number, top five of 7,800 games I wanted. Oh, here we go. Big surprise. One-on-one -on -one basketball. This one has graphical glitches. Uh, I don't know. This is the this is the third game I've had for the 7800 where the game plays, but the graphics are all corrupted. And mm -hmm. um, cleaning the cartridge doesn't seem to work. I think it might be the ROM chip degrading. If anybody has problems like that with the 7800 games, let me know because the car, the the game still works, which means the code the, the, the code that it's fetching and executing mm -hmm. is working. It's just the graphics. So I don't know how that works on the 7800. I know on the NES it's a separate chip and that can happen. Um, but uh, this is the third game I have that does that. Disappointing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pole position two. Now this is interesting. This is a variant because most of the pole positions are white and black label with just text. This is a picture version. Ooh. So I'm guessing this was one was sold, I don't know, separately. It's bundled with the 7800, so this one might have been sold separately after they stopped bundling it. Hmm. Can't imagine why it exists, but it does, so maybe it's just an early version. I don't know. And then we have Summer Games. Summer Games. I have Winter Games. Cool. Winter Games is one of the ones that has corrupted graphics. Oh. So now I have Summer Games. I'm not sure if this one has corrupted graphics either. I know one on one does. It's, uh, the title screen, you can hardly tell what's going on. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's it for Atari. Thank goodness. Okay, so. <laughs> Why don't you do this top guy too? Big thing that came out in November. Everybody Big thing that came out in November. Yep, everyone was like, oh, go get it. Super easy to get. Yeah, and like when it came up, everyone was like, go, go, go. It's live. It's live. So we went, okay. And we bought it like super late. It was like late here when we bought it. The Game & Watch. Super Mario Bros. Game & Watch. We bought it from Best Buy. Oh, is that the I'm thing like, where they said, we got to wait five minutes and we'll put more stock up? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that worked out pretty well. But yeah. Yeah, these things are readily available yeah, now, Yeah, they are. So uh, we went, I went to go pick it up at Best Buy. Little store pickup. That was fun. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah, it's cool. Eh, it'll be cool to have. I don't know, it's whatever. Kind of, it's novel. I don't have any it's other novel. game. It's novel? Yes. Is that a joke? No. Okay. I don't have any other game to watch, so that'll be fun. All right, but these are my two big favorite pickups of the month. These also come from Single Banana. They are part of this bundle. Oh, my goodness. Um, he oh, happened to yes. mention... I'm going to do this one first. He happened to mention... Oh, he was showing me the shelves of the certain games, and I happened to notice that they had some Master System games. And I said, well, would you be willing to look to see if those Master System games are blue label? And he said, no, they're not. But I think I have some blue label, and I don't really care. So um, if I can get replacements for them, you know, I'll I'll trade up, and we can arrange something for the blue label. And so that's what we did. And so I've got a blue label, um, California Games. Now this one has a little damage on the insert, but the interesting thing about this is that this is the blue label with the 1990 copyright manual. That's the big deal, right? Mm -hmm. They, they got to all match, and the um, corresponding case insert, which has got a little bit of water damage, but eh, I'm getting less picky in my old age. And then the other one, which is the real gem, is Blue Label Ghostbusters, which I think he gave me a really reasonable price on. This one is just the um, case and cart, but again, the case is the um, 1990 variant, where the, uh, I'll show you the two in the pictures, mm -hmm. uh, the different styles of them, but uh, I've been collecting these 
Blue Label variants, I've probably got about a half a dozen, maybe seven now, and uh, got really, more. we've got two more. Yeah, I had the Blue Label cart, but now I've got the manual in the case, and this is a nice Blue Label to have, and we'll see if any others come my way. Mm -hmm. But that, I thought, most of this stuff happened really at the beginning of November. Yeah. Um, this stuff has all been sitting waiting Usually, for this video. Usually, we have a lot. There's a lot purchased towards the end of November for us yeah. normally, but... yeah. The sales were just, either you're just more into retro now, and yeah. so I you used, didn't buy a lot of new. Yeah, I usually buy a controller. The controller's mm -hmm. gone on at 40 bucks. That wasn't really... You, didn't, you, you got some already. Yeah, I got, I got so many controllers because I've been buying them every year. And the big thing was, you know, the Xbox Series X. S and X mm -hmm. launched. PlayStation 5 launched in November. Everybody was focusing on that. I don't know. I didn't see any good. All the Switch game sales were games we already had. Yeah. Uh, eh, whatever. Too. You know, so. I wasn't feeling it. But I got I got a bunch of great Atari games, some Master System uh, collectibles, mm -hmm. some spacers, <laughs> some styrofoam. I actually bought styrofoam. <laughs> All right. All right. So we'll see how it goes in November or December. Of yep. course, December is Christmas. There's Christmas. always some cool gifts there. Yeah. And uh, we'll see. Let's see what we get. All right, so that yeah. ought to do it. Okay. If you enjoyed the video, like us and subscribe.